I'd like to thank everybody uh, for taking the time out and, and coming here today. Uh, my name is Dan Fogarty. I'm the Associate Dean of Academic Affairs here at Fulton Montgomery Community College. And it is my honor to, to welcome you all here uh, to our dual admission event uh, with the University at Albany. Uh, it's very humbling to see everybody in this room. There's been a lot of work that's gone in to this event uh, with both our campus and New Albany. And we're, we're very happy to have uh, all of you here today. Uh, we'd like to start off with the official welcome to our campus, and our president, Dr. Gregory Chuckermiller, will give those remarks. Thank you, Dan. It, it is, as Dan said, it's it's really humbling to see all of you here today, and we really, really appreciate uh, your support. It's it's my privilege to welcome you to SUNY Fulton Montgomery Community College today for this very exciting announcement. The unveiling of our dual admission program in participation with the University at Albany. I'm excited to share that alongside this program, we're also launching the UAlbany dual admission, transfer service, and advisement hub right within our O'Connell Hall, a hub that's poised to redefine student support. I wanna extend my gratitude to President Havadon Rodriguez and his team for their unwavering collaboration since the inception of this endeavor. This partnership is really a testament to the power of collaboration within the State University of New York. It sets a model for how institutions can unite to elevate educational opportunities for our students. Effective immediately, both current and prospective students will have access to an array of nearly 30 programs seamlessly bridging SUNY FMCC and the University at Albany. This agreement puts our students' needs at the forefront and guarantees them the same privileges enjoyed at both institutions, whether that's a student ID card or mentorship or scholarships. Again, I'm so pleased to see so many friends of the college here today. Your presence really underscores the collective belief in the transformational impact this partnership will have on our region. As our community seeks to grow economically, it's imperative that we equip our students with the workforce skills and knowledge that they need to thrive in evolving industries. Simultaneously, we're committed to enriching the educational opportunities for our students across our schools. This is a commitment that's echoed again by the diverse representation in the room here today. Central to our strategic vision is an unwavering commitment to fostering an equitable student experience. Through initiatives like this partnership, we're laying a foundation that ensures every student has access to a pathway of success, whether it leads directly to the workforce or further education. So on behalf of our region and our campus, I extend a warm and official welcome to the University at Albany as a valued partner in our journey towards educational excellence. Together, we're shaping a brighter future for all. Thank you. Thank you, President Chuck and Miller. Next, I'd like to welcome uh, President Javidan Rodriguez to deliver his remarks for the University at Albany. Thank you very much, uh, Daniel, uh, and thank you, uh, President Truckenmiller. Uh, muy buenos dias. Good morning, everybody. Uh, first, two thank yous, right? Uh, thank you for, you know, clearing up the roadways of 20 inches of snow. That's quite amazing, right? And, and second, uh, thank you so very much for the excellent and warm welcome as I walked into to the institution. This is the best welcome ever that I've received, right? So... Uh, Thank you all so very much. It's, it's, it's delightful and it's great to be here with all of you today. Thank you so very much for being here. 
Thank you uh, for joining us. Again, I want to thank uh, Assembly Member Pat Fahey. Uh, uh, thank you for your ongoing support, and thank you for being here as well. Assembly Member Smullen, thank you uh, for all the great work that you folks do on behalf of higher education here in the great state of New York. And to our Senior Vice Chancellor, uh, Johanna Duncan Poitier uh, from SUNY, thank you, uh, Johanna, for being here as well. We appreciate you being here. And a special shout out to all our colleagues from from, uh, the university at Albany, executive council, the deans, and the staff who took a, a bus to come all the way to join us here at this celebration. So thank you all so very much as well. Again, thank you all for being here, and thank you to our community partners for joining us for today's event. It is wonderful to see our K-12 colleagues and the local business community invested in the success of this partnership and the students who will benefit from this outstanding partnership. As we always like to say, today is certainly a great day to be a great Dane and a great day to be a Raider. So, uh, <laughs> and, and, Truly, 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 I am thrilled that today we're going to officially sign this important agreement between Fulton Montgomery Community College and the University at Albany. This is certainly a great partnership. FMCC is a critical partner to the University at Albany. And every year we have students who complete two-year degrees here at FMCC who decide to continue their education at the University at Albany. And with today's dual admission agreement, our new space on the FMCC campus, and our plan to integrate dual admitted students into life on both campuses, we are smoothing the path so even more students will be able to make that transition from this great institution to the University at Albany. And as many of you may know, following today's program, we will also cut the ribbon on a beautiful new Albany, U Albany transfer advising space here on this campus on O'Connell Hall. And by giving FMCC students access to the University at Albany's first year experience course, giving access to U Albany peer mentors, academic advising, and financial aid counseling, and as well as getting U Albany ID cards, we hope, them, we hope to make these students who decide to transfer to the University at Albany to meet and, uh, and to join us as part of the U Albany Great Dane family, even while you are FMCC Raiders. Uh, so we're delighted with this partnership. As many of you may know, nationally, about 80% of community college students say they intend to transfer to a four-year institution, 80%. However, only 16% of those students who start in community college earn a bachelor's degree within six years. This partnership aims to change those statistics, and that is what we need to do collaboratively. This dual admission agreement, <laughs> this dual admission agreement between UAlbany and FMCC is in part made possible by the SUNY Transformation Fund, which will help us change this story and they, these statistics, national statistics, one student at a time. I would also like to acknowledge a number of you Albany folks who made this uh, partnership possible, including our provost, uh, Carol Kim, who's here with us. Someone who has worked tirelessly to get this done as well, our vice president for student affairs, Mike Kerstakis. Our vice president for communications and marketing and her staff, Melissa Connolly. Our Dean of Undergraduate Education, Joanne Malatesta, and of course, all the members, and of course, all the members of our Executive Cabinet, I really, really appreciate your commitment and your dedication, and Todd, some of the funding to make this happen as well. So thank you so much. And again, to the excellent, excellent leadership, faculty, staff, and students at Fulton Montgomery Community College, 
thank you all so very much for also making this happen, for making this great project possible today. And I am thrilled by two students today at FMCC who have been just recently admitted to the University at Albany's School of Social Welfare. And by the way, this is a very highly competitive program, so congratulations to both of you. Talia Klippel and Emma Mori, congratulations on being accepted to the University at Albany. Thank you for being students at FMCC. And this is what a partnership looks like. This is what success looks like. And so we congratulate you both. And I would like to ask you to come to the podium to say a few words. So thank you all so very much. Muchísimas gracias. Hi, um, I am Talia Klippel, and I started here at FM my senior year of high school during the early admissions program. I had an idea about what I wanted to do, but no clue where to start. The following year, in the fall of 2022, I came to FM and took an intro to helping professions class. Uh, this was a class that helped me learn about all of the paths there are to take and it inspired me to want to work in the field of social work. FM is full of opportunities and growth. I have helped with a support group, and I was a peer tutor, and now I am a professional tutor. I chose to go to FM because I wanted to be able to stay close to home, and I am forever grateful for that decision. I have been able to experience new things and create new friendships for, which I am grateful for. I want to go to Albany because they offer a similar close to home atmosphere and have an amazing program. I am honored to have been able to be accepted into their social welfare program to start the next chapter of my life. I look forward to taking on all of the opportunities and experiences that Albany has to offer. Thank you. Hi, my name is Emma Mori. I started here in the fall of 2022 thinking I knew the direction I wanted to go into. I didn't know there was a different path other than psychology. The advisor I was scheduled with suggested putting me in a class that would pique my interest called HUS 100 taught by Miss Julie Lind. Um, this opened up an avenue I didn't even know existed for me. I chose to go to FM for the flexibility, the flexibility it offered by being able to live at home and still keep a job. Going to FM has helped me make connections in the community with agencies and um, other big name people, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, I've also made wonderful friendships here that I cannot imagine not having in my life. I want to take this chance to thank the faculty and staff at FM for making the past year and a half so wonderful. I'm so ex grateful to be given this opportunity to take the next step in my education at UAlbany in the social welfare program. I'm so Excited and honored to be a Great Dane. Thank you. Thank you, Emma and Talia. And also thank you, President Rodriguez. Next, we're gonna hear remarks from our Senior Vice Chancellor for SUNY, for the SUNY Office of Community Colleges and the Education Pipeline, Johanna Duncan Poitier. Good morning, everyone. So this is a really, really special day. Now, I saw the enthusiasm as the bus came up, the Great Danes bus. Honestly, I had shivers. Um, it's really cool, right? Um, if you believe that this day is as special as I do, and the marriage between uh, Fulton Montgomery Community College and you Albany is as special as I do, let's hear it. It is a really special day because it is going to have such an impact on improving the lives of our students and their smooth paths. Something I haven't even told you, uh, President Truckin Miller, 
my executive assistant, her name is Christina Alberto, she started her career here at Fulton Montgomery Community College. She got her associate's degree without ever leaving the campus. She transferred to a program, a partnership with Cobalt Skill, and she has her master's from UAlbany. Um, So it really is true. So I look at the two of you and I do say, start here, you can go anywhere. And really, it's not just in terms of education, but also the workforce. I see our partners here from Global Foundries who are very, very smart, and they know that graduates from our institutions are going to be the future workforce of tomorrow. I'd also like to acknowledge the, uh, our assembly chair, uh, our assembly education chair, uh, Pat Fahey. Um, you guys need to know she has worked tirelessly this year to get funding for the State University of New York. She's a very, very hard worker, and every time I see her, she's working on something else. Join me in thanking her so much. I'd also like to recognize Assemblyman Robert Smullen. Um, those of you who watched any of the higher ed hearings when there was dollars be, to be spoken about will know that we have a real hero in Assemblyman Smullen. So thank you so much for the work that you do. And last but not least on the thank yous, I just have to thank our two, my two, two of my favorite presidents. Uh, President Truck and Miller, I cannot believe you've been here five years, uh, but what a difference you've made, and so happy that you're here. And President Javidan Rodriguez, you two are awesome. And you know it's wonderful when they say two people come together and they, they have a strong partnership, the students are going to benefit from it. So thank you so very much. This transfer partnership and dual enrollment agreement is a huge step for FMC students, FMCC students to achieve their baccalaureate goals. It's not going to be for everybody, but it's going to be for a lot of students who want to pursue this opportunity. There will be challenges and roadblocks for students to transfer on completing their associate's degree from financial difficulty, as was mentioned, some credit transfer process, and sometimes even life gets in the way, but having this facility right here on this campus is going to make a difference in terms of helping to smooth the way. That's where our campuses and our system must come in. We want everyone to find their place at the State University of New York and be able to navigate the successes. Inviting Fulton Montgomery Community College here is just brilliant. Um, I shared uh, with my colleagues, I've been in this room many, many times uh, for different community events and different presentations. And this is perhaps one of the best days ever because it really is about the future and making sure that our students have the best opportunity available to them. This is exactly the kind of detailed, thought-provoking, student-centric collaboration that is moving SUNY forward. We used to talk about the power of SUNY. This is the power of SUNY. This is real. And the two of you truly do exemplify what that means and many, many students that will follow behind you. So as a dog lover, I will say that I am thrilled that so many FMCC Raiders will soon become Great Danes. And I thank you to all who really made today possible and look forward to the many successes that we're going to hear about because today was made possible. Thank you all. Thank you, Johanna. Next, we're going to hear remarks from uh, some of our elected officials in the room, and we're going to start off with the Assemblywoman and Higher Education Committee Chair, uh, Patricia Fahey. Thank you. I'm, I'm really here today to just share the enthusiasm. Uh, we had a very similar event just a few weeks ago at Hudson Valley Community College with UAlbany on the same dual enrollment program and it was, I'm at events, uh, sometimes it feels like a hundred times a week, uh, but that one, the enthusiasm was just bubbling over. I see it here today. I'm sorry I missed the bus coming up. Uh, I guess I should have gotten here earlier, but, um, but so pleased to be here because this, this is the power of collaboration as you heard. And, and when you hear about the program, right, dual enrollment, seamless transfer, or not even using the word transfer, I love that part, but just the seamlessness between the institutions, and you think, wow, 
Why haven't we done this before? And it, right, it makes so much sense, but it takes leadership. It really takes leadership. It takes work. Collaboration is such a simple, you know, maybe overused word, but it takes leadership to do that. And so I cannot say enough good things about President Havadan Rodriguez as well as President Truckenmiller and, and the, the entire teams, because I know, I know you have the vision. It takes so much work from the entire team to, to make this work. And this is how we turn around numbers. Enrollment is a huge issue. As you know, it's caught up in the whole K-12 uh, fight about um, the formula right now because enrollment is slipping. Demographics are working against us. Po lack of population growth is working against us. This is a national issue now on college campuses, but it's this type of creativity and innovation that is going to keep those enrollment numbers going in the right direction. We are here to help you, myself, uh, Assemblymember uh, Robert Smullen, as well as Assemblymember uh, Santa Barbara. We have had event after event. We had a hearing in the fall on TAP and, and SUNY CUNY funding. Uh, last year, I'm incredibly proud, uh, I was the new chair. We had the biggest funding increase in SUNY and CUNY history since 2006, pre-recession for the young ones there. Thank you. Uh, thank you. We're, we are working really hard to maintain that momentum this year, uh, despite a little bit more challenge within the budget, as you've heard, we're a few billion dollars apart between where the governor is. Just a few, right? Um, uh, yes, even in, even in New York, that B word on billions uh, matters. But, but we are pounding away at this because we know this investment pays off. I'm so glad to hear Global Foundries is here. I'm so glad to hear that business is represented because we know it, we wouldn't have the semiconductor, if we didn't have that semiconductor investments, we wouldn't have Global Foundries, we wouldn't have Micron. Now we're planning to lead on AI. We're about to launch Wadsworth, the consolidation of the Wadsworth Lab. So biomedical, there's so much work we need the minds of young people like yourself. And, and then I, I just would have to add, um, I just have to add on a personal note how much I love this. Uh, I am, um, it's funny, the older you get, the more you realize how much you see yourself in others. Uh, and, and so many of you Albany folks have heard this, but I am first generation, I'm first generation American, I'm first generation college and first generation high school. If, if it weren't for the community college outside Chicago where I grew up, I wouldn't be here today. So the fact that that 16% uh, that, that is still a number, I think, that has really persistently been a, a challenge for community colleges, the fact that we are so determined to turn that around, I continue to see myself in, in you. And we are, we are here to have your back on the funding, but you, the entire teams, all the faculty and leadership uh, here at Fulton Montgomery, as well as at UAlbany, uh, you're gonna, it's your work that will help us deliver and really turn around that number and get to that 80% of you who want to. So I can't say enough how terrific this is. I'm so pleased to join you today and uh, we'll be racing back soon to uh, continue the debates on the budget. But, um, uh, but thank you for making us feel good uh, about those fights because we know that transformation grant last year, those transformation dollars, uh, you wasted no time in putting them to great use. And uh, please know how honored I am to join you today. Thank you. Thank you, Assemblywoman. Next, we'll hear from the Assemblyman and Ranking Higher Education Committee Chair, Robert Smullen. Thanks so much, Dan. Uh, to our presidents, uh, Chair Fahey, representatives from SUNY, it's, it's great to be here in our hometown of Fulton and Montgomery counties, ain't it? Yep. And I, and I got to say, my, my remarks will be the briefest of all because for me, what cuts to the core of the issue is this is the American dream uh, for us here in upstate New York. We're a kid from Afreda, from Mayfield, from St. Johnsville, from Canada Harry. Can, can, go to can go to school, they can be born and raised, and they can come to their community college and then go to their university 
and, and live the American dream. It's the embodiment of rural equity in modern upstate New York. And I think it's absolutely brilliant. So thank you very much for having me here today. Uh, myself and my wife, we're actually going to exit stage left because I have another committee to go vote on before the Higher Education Committee at noon. But 100% in support of programs such as this to remake the educational landscape in upstate New York for the 21st century. Thank you very much. And we do have a few other representatives, uh, surrogates here to, to say a few quick words. Uh, so if you'd like to come on up, we can start first with uh, the Congresswoman Elise Stefanik's uh, representative. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Congress uh, Congresswoman Stefanik could not be here today, but I am truly thrilled to be here uh, on her behalf as a alum of UAlbany and the Rockefeller Institute myself. Uh, I know firsthand the quality of an education and the opportunities that their programs offer. Um, we're truly excited to see uh, these opportunities and the resources through SUNY and UAlbany expanded into FMCC's network. Um, we know that the current and future scholars are going to reap these benefits and we'll see these fruits to bear. So we'd like to congratulate uh, everyone with UAlbany and with Fall Montgomery Community College, the administrative teams that it took to bring this to fruition, and uh, to thank you for investing in our students. Thank you. And uh, thank you. And a representative from Assemblywoman Mary Beth Walsh's office. Hello, my name is Julia. I'm here on behalf of Assemblywoman Mary Beth Walsh. Uh, she wishes she could be here. I'm sure she'd rather be here than doing budget negotiations. But I am happy to be here on her behalf. Uh, so she is a member of the Assembly Committee on Education, which is K through 12. Um, but this partnership is very exciting because it paves the way for students to be able to continue on their education and to help build bigger and brighter futures. Um, in honor of today, I would just like to congratulate Dr. Rodriguez and Dr. Chuck and Miller. Um, and on behalf of Assemblywoman Walsh and the Assembly, we'd like to present you with citations, one for View Albany and one for FMCC, just to um, mark this special day in this partnership. So congratulations to both. Thank you. And next up, we have our HFM BOCES District Assistant Superintendent, Jay DeTragula, to say a few words. Thank you, Dan. Good morning, everyone. Um, our district superintendent, Dr. Ziskin, sends his regrets that he couldn't be with us this morning. Um, he's at the State Education Department with a district superintendent's meeting and with Commissioner Rosa. Um, I do have an announcement this morning. Um, I want to echo how impressive it was to see that University of Albany bus come in this morning. Uh, my announcement is Dr. Truckamiller indicated that FMCC is committed to getting HFM BOCES that same bus. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be driving, Jay. I'll drive it. Yes, I will. Um, the exciting announcement this morning is truly about partnerships and, and opportunities. And when you look at our region, we are very fortunate to have longstanding partnerships with our community college partner, FMCC, our component school districts, and our regional FM Chamber of Commerce, and of course with, with us, HFM BOCES. We also appreciate the support that our local and state elected officials have provided for us in, in our educational uh, world. We all share the common goal of providing opportunities and access for students in our region, and certainly the co-location of our campuses uh, between FM and HFM BOCES embodies that commitment to pathways and opportunities for students. Currently, students in our HFM region have numerous opportunities to pursue, pursue college coursework early in their career. For example, we have college in the high school programming in many of our high schools. We have early admission opportunities at FM. We have the Smart Scholars Program at Amsterdam High School in partnership with FM. We also have our Career and Technical Center, HFM BOCES, and our PTEC at HFM BOCES. In particular, with CTE program, we have 12 different articulation agreements with FMCC that provides our students an early opportunity and a head start 
on their college and career path. With P-TECH, we have four uh, opportunities for pathways for students with 11 different degree pathways among those four. So a tremendous opportunity for, for students both in our P-TECH and CTE programs. Today's announcement offers opportunities for students to continue their post-secondary studies in over 20 programs with SUNY, FMCC, and University of Albany. This partnership will give students invaluable access to the FM and Albany instructors, as well as their counselors and advisors right here on the FM campus. This partnership will serve to break down barriers for students wishing to pursue a bachelor's degree, providing opportunities they may not have considered possible. This partnership truly facilitates access to higher education, inspiring students to fully pursue their career goals and dreams. I would like to close with a quote from President John F. Kennedy. Let us think of education as the means of developing our greatest abilities, because in each of us there is a private hope and dream, which fulfilled can be translated into benefit for everyone and greater strength for our nation. Thank you to Dr. Truckenmiller and to Dr. Rodriguez for your leadership and your commitment to the students in our region. You are helping students fulfill their private hopes and dreams. Thank you. Next up, we'll have our Executive Director of our Fulton Montgomery Regional Chamber of Commerce, Ann Bowles. Hi, good morning, everyone. Thank you, President Dr. Truckenmiller, and thank you, President Dr. Rodriguez, for including the Fulton Montgomery Regional Chamber of Commerce on this special day. Um, I would also like to thank Dan Fogarty, Christy Davis, and the SUNY Fulton Montgomery um, team for having this opportunity to say a few words, and thank you, Dan, for your service on our board. Uh, our partnership with SUNY Fulton Montgomery is what is making the chamber innovative, stronger, and relevant for today's business world. We here in the Fulton Montgomery region are extremely focused on creating a prosperous region that provides an opportunity to be successful for all. Our partners are committed to working together to create an environment for progress, a strong and aligned education system, and proven workforce development programs are so critical so scholars from elementary to adult learning have access to quality education and skill development to be lifelong learners. The Chamber and partners advocate for education workforce initiatives that align with our mission. And we're also happy to continue our job fair that we've partnered with for many years, which is coming up in April, which I hope you can attend. As you know, the Chamber is here for whatever you need and for you to get to know our area. Our region is a splendor where the Southern Adirondacks meet the Mohawk Valley. We invite you and your team to explore our area. Beauty is abundant in all four seasons and the slate of activities is equally complete. So congratulations on this success to offer dual admission opportunities in 20 programs. Cross registration access, scholarships and have dedicated support is a, a partnership to be proud of. I'm so happy to be a part of this day. It's an inspiration for, um, for a lot of us in the room, but also personally for our, uh, my son and all of our families that are, um, that are here just with this opportunity that they have here. So congratulations. Um, welcome to the Fulton Montgomery County region. And the chamber is always here to support you. Thank you. Thank you, Ann. And we'll move into our two faculty who would like to say a quick remarks as well, too, because it's going to for surely affect our faculty and, our, and their students on our campus. And we're going to start off with our professor of computer science, uh, Dr. Er, Dr. Marty Waffle. I think I just got promoted. <laughs> I believe the words of the day are enthusiasm and excitement. I have now heard those words at least 10 times. And yes, I did keep track. Uh, again, my name is Marty Waffle, and I'm a computer science professor and the technology division chair here at FMCC. Also a proud alumnus of UAlbany class of 1994 MBA program. <laughs> These are exciting times at FMCC, and let me tell you why. 
I'm excited that this spring, we will be opening our new state-of-the-art cyber range designed by IBM. This nearly $1 million investment will be the first of its kind in the SUNY system. This project was partially funded by the SUNY Transformation Grant. Thank you, IBM and SUNY. I'm excited that this summer we'll be completing a $200,000 renovation of our clean room used to support our robotics and engineering technology program. Again, this was partially funded by the SUNY Transformation Grant. Thank you again, SUNY. Also related to this, I'm excited about the announcement that Global Foundries is planning to build a new state-of-the-art fab on the Malta campus, bringing more high-tech jobs to our region. Thank you, Global Foundries. But today, I'm most excited for our students and the opportunities that this dual admission agreement between UAlbany and FMCC brings to our campus and our region. Thank you, UAlbany. Next, we'll move into our director of our nursing program, Eileen Casey. Good morning, everyone. I'm so happy to be here for this wonderful event, this great partnership. Uh, again, I'm Eileen Casey, and I'm honored to be the director of the nursing program here at SUNY FMCC. Um, the nursing program at FMCC is undoubtedly a stronghold in the local community. 53 graduating classes, 1,622 uh, graduate nurses have successfully completed our program here. We are very proud of our RN program. Our NCLEX first-time pass rate and student employer satisfaction ratings are measurements we are very proud of. In 2023, 100% of our students passed the NCLEX licensing exam on their first attempt. Thank you. We are especially excited for the partnership with SUNY UAlbany. Um, the pathway from FMCC to the workforce is a direct route. 100% of our 2023 graduates were employed as nurses within months of graduation. The SUNY FMCC nursing graduates enjoy challenging and engaging careers that mir mirror the endless career opportunities found in nursing profession. The partnership will, this partnership will offer another pathway to success. With FMCC bringing skilled RNs to the community and SUNY UAlbany, the RN to BSN programs, our students and our graduates are on a right track for a successful career. Thank you very much for making this possible. Thank you. Well, if that doesn't tell you what community is, I don't know what it does with everything that you've heard with these speeches. But at this point, we will move into the signing of the agreement. Johanna, if you wouldn't mind moving to, next to President Truckenmiller uh, for that, for the signing. Um, so anybody that would like to take any pictures or photos, feel free to hand one off to the other. <laughs> well, there's some presentation of gifts between the two presidents.